All right, so this is Texas Sheepdog 72. This guy's a First Amendment auditor, and I've heard some pretty disturbing things about this guy concerning CP and arrest for it, and I wanted to check it out. So first, I'm going to play you a quick few clips from this video right here. My house got raided, and then I'll go ahead and uh, show you what I found with the Texas State website on his criminal record. Uh, can you look up the address for Jack Miller? I think he lives on. Not a problem, Chief. All right, so that was uh, interesting. That's uh, where the police apparently came in, and he published that to his channel, which I thought was more interesting. But uh, the police came in, and they uh, arrested him. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know what the point of him publishing that was or if he's just trying to say that this was a police setup or something like that. I mean, maybe. I doubt it. But... Either way, right now I'm on Bexar County Justice Portal and I'm gonna do a jail search first and show you what comes up on that. All right, so just to be clear, I'm not saying that every single one of these results is Jack Edward Miller, the Jack Edward Miller in question that I just showed in the clip, but I think it is, you know, I believe it is. There's only gonna be so many Jack Edward Millers, especially with these types of charges. But you can judge for yourself. We don't have a date of birth to confirm here. So, uh, you know, make up your own mind there. But Jack Edward Miller, we have, this was, what's the date? 2010, terroristic threats impair public government service. We have, this is 2018, uh, interfere with duties of a public servant. So, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming based on the charges, even though I don't know about these past charges, I'm assuming based on him being a First Amendment auditor, not to say all of them do that by any means, but um, I'm assuming this is probably him. Uh, criminal trespass, this is also 2018 uh, on a different date. Criminal, it looks like this is a little out of order here, but criminal trespass, building vehicle, disorderly conduct. And then we have 6-4-2021 harassment. That's Bexar Adult uh, Detention Center, the facility arresting agency, San Antonio Police Department. Uh, we have Jack Edward Miller again here. This is 3-23-2024, and it says there's four charges total. Aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, unlawful carrying of a weapon, criminal trespass, and I'll view the jailing on one of these or a few of these later, but uh, this is 9-7-2022, so definitely out of order here. Resisting arrest, search, transportation. It says we have 2017, or 3-8-2017, criminal trespass, 6 1 2018 prohibited places 5 28 2024 okay so here it is possession of cp uh and whatever that is uh something knowing child or maybe he knows the child or something like that uh of the where he possessed the cp i'm assuming i'm not 100 i'm sure what that means um we have uh this is 27 2020 assault uh, peace officer, so assaulting a cop, resisting arrest, disorderly conduct. And then there's actually five pages here, so it goes on. Oh, so it goes on to names that are definitely not him. This one is 6-5-2024, resisting arrest, unlawful carry of a weapon, criminal trespass. All right, so let's go back to the first one. And again, I do want to point out, just to be really, really clear, I'm not saying that there's not another Jack Edward Miller in the Texas area. There could be. So it's possible that not all of these are in regards to him. But let's go back to the CP one. And here it is. And view jailing and see what comes up here. Okay, so we have uh, white male, 5'8", 250 pounds. We have a booking number. We have booking date. Uh, no date of birth, but hair, blonde, or strawberry. Unfortunately, we don't get a lot of information with Bexar County. Now, if this was Harris County in Texas, we'd have all the case records. We'd have everything. Harris County in Texas is like any other county in Florida, you get a lot of information, but 
Apparently with Bexar, we'd have to probably do a records request for the information to get everything because it's not here. So release on bond. Um, yeah, all right. So, but we do have a little bit of a description. White male, 5'8", 250 pounds, blonde or strawberry hair. So we'll keep that in mind. Let's continue. So now I'm doing a search on hearings and I just tried, I didn't know if anything would come up, but October 1st, 2024 through October 31st, 2024. And we have three total for Jack Edward Miller. Uh, one is, uh, or two of them is a pre-file misdemeanor. And the other one is just a misdemeanor and the hearing is set. So let's click on this misdemeanor one. Um, again, could be another Jack Miller. So I'm not saying it. This is State of Texas versus Jack Edward Miller. And let's see what else we have here. Resisting arrest, search transportation. Do we have any date of birth or anything? It doesn't look like it. Uh, bond increase from 2022, Bexar County Sheriff's Office. So yeah, I was really hoping that we'd actually have some documents here, like the actual police documents, and it doesn't look like it, but we do have facts of arrest here. Um, let's see here, comments, facts of arrest. Defendant was that, okay, and there's an address, so I'm not gonna give that address because I don't know if it's a residential or it's a uh, just, well, actually, why don't I just see real quick? All right, so I just checked that address out and it is not a residential, so we'll just leave that there. Carrying an assault rifle. Defendant stood in, now I wonder if it was really an assault rifle because I've been accused of having an assault rifle when I don't have an assault rifle because people don't know an AR is not an assault rifle. So I don't know, but I'm assuming if the police put this in, it probably is. Um, not to say that everyone in Texas has an assault rifle, but it's definitely easier to get things in Texas. Although it's pretty easy in New Hampshire too. So um, anyway, getting off track, defendant stood in the roadway obstructing traffic Defendant refused to move when an attempt was made to move him. He headbutted an officer. He was arrested for assault and resisting arrest, disorderly conduct, obstructing. So, yeah, there's that. <laughs> Jack. Oh, we do have a date of birth, 628-1972. So this is all public record. Again, this is all anything you can find. This is portal-tx uh, for Texas, bexar.tylertech.cloud. Wow, it's, it's a, definitely a bit of an address there, but you can uh, Google Bexar County uh, case record search and then do hearings and, you know, see what you find there. So, okay, so it said the facts again of the case and, or at least uh, what they say the facts are and the bond setting. All right. The other item had to do with firearms too. This is disorderly conduct, discharge, display, firearm. The offense date on this one, however, is 525-2023. So if it is, in fact, the same person, which it, I believe it is, then uh, there's obviously a history there of that. So the case flags, mental health assessment completed. It's ordered, no firearm purchase, possession owner. Now, I searched the, hear not the hearings, I searched just for the smart search on cases. And we have a few other things here. Jack Edward Miller versus Marissa Imelda Miller. And that's a divorce with children. So I'm not going to get into that case file because that's just going to be a whole lot of redactions. I don't really want to get into anything with family, but that's in the case search. And then there's this other case here that's a divorce. Uh, the first one was 2000. This one is 2008. So divorce with Sandra Miller. And then we have, what's this? Another divorce, Jack E. Miller with Judy. And that's in 2016. Now this could very well be different people here. There might, again, there might be more than one Jack Edward Miller. I know I keep saying that, but uh, this is 2019 divorce. So I know I keep saying that, but it's just like, you know, you want to be, you want to be careful. I don't want to say that all of this is in fact Jack Miller or the one in question, but there, there is, there is a bunch of different, uh, you know, Jack Millers here. I think if I do a FOIA request on this guy and then here's all the felonies and misdemeanors and all this and that. So I think if I do a, a uh, FOIA request on this guy, I'll make sure to put in the date of birth so we can be absolutely sure that we do have the right Jack Edward Miller and see what comes up. I think that might actually be a costly FOIA request though, because uh, it looks like there's a lot of incidents with this guy. All right, guys, I think we'll leave it at that. If you want me to explore anything else on Jack Miller, or you want me to actually do that FOIA request and try to get the police reports and more, because I'm sure we can actually get the records and we might be able to get audio recordings and we can see if he contacted other departments and he put in complaints to departments and you know we can go through the whole 
rick and roll with this guy and see what we find but if you're interested in something like that let me know in the comments do me a favor hit that like button for me and i'll see you guys on the next one